Okay, um, introducing on now, we have another um, special guest back on my show. Uh, we have the True Foxes. Welcome back. How are we doing? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. You are live from Lincolnshire, somewhere in Lincoln, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. And you are smack bang in the middle of a mini tour of the UK. How's it going? Yes, really, really good. Oh, yeah. Really, really fun. Uh, we played at the Komodo uh, last night. Um, with the Yellow Belly Records uh, and Sam Tucker and the Miracle Cure supported us and it was just it was great it was such really a great, lovely event. great yeah night. that's great great to hear now girls um, um, I've had Chloe on, be on before Amy welcome to the show first time I've, you know, I've had you on my show um, now I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm right that you are related in some way yes. and for our sins yeah because cousins <laughs> and is it fair to say music m music runs in the fox's family it does yeah or most of our family members are musicians so they all play an instrument of some sort <laughs> nice and your new album is called howl and is, is that anything to do with like like foxes howling or wolves howling yes yeah it was kind of a on theme, um, I wrote a song uh, called Howl, and it just worked. It worked really well. <laughs> cool. And this album is a feel-good album. You know, when you wake up in the morning and you just want to put a CD on and start your day off on the right note, is this uh, the CD which does that for you? Yeah, I'd say so. It's it's punchy. It'll, uh, it'll wake you up, that's for sure. <laughs> that's good. And uh, last time I chatted with Chloe, uh, you were promoting The Devil's Calling, and this leads on to another single called Higher. Is that right? Yes. And now with this Higher song, um, it has kind of a Louisiana feel to it, you know, Cajun, that vibe. Yes, yeah. And yeah, we wanted to write something a little bit moody, um, a little bit like gothic -y country kind of thing. Mm. And, yeah. yeah. It seems like in the charts now, the, the country sound seems to be uh, very popular with, it, with, uh, with the young people. It seems to be catching on. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A couple of years ago, um, when we first really started, I was like, oh, we should definitely lean more onto the countryside because it's just got a feeling it's going to take off. And it, and it has. Mm. I was right. Yes. My predictions were right. <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, for, my, for my listeners, can you just uh, tell me what Americana music is? So Americana music. I'm sorry, would you let's speak about just taking no, it over? No. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a mixture of lots of different genres, really. You've got, it's inspired by um, music that's been popular in America recently, uh, in the past. So you've got like your blues and your folk and your bluegrass as well. And it's kind of a um, a mixture of all of those different yeah. genres together. And yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit poppy as well. So, yeah. so it can, it's like widely accessible which is good great and now uh, on to uh, higher again you you released a music video to this and it seems like you had a lot lots of fun making this yeah 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 it was great fun we uh we got a couple of our, our friends along and um put on made them put on some horse masks and um <laughs> run full pelt up a field um which i don't think they knew what they were really signing up for yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah we weren't aware that they couldn't actually see through the horse masks but luckily uh, no one was injured, injured. No one was injured no. <laughs> all, all good in the end then yes <laughs> that's great and i discovered a song called sarah can you just tell me a little bit about that track uh, yeah so sarah is uh was written as a response to the uh, sarah everard case and we released it uh, a few years ago now around yeah. uh, international women's day um, and it's just kind of, it's like the stark reality that women face every day um, and how it keeps on happening. Uh, and yeah, it was just a response to that. And it, it hit us all quite deeply because even though that was a, quite a high profile case, it happens every day and sure. it shouldn't. Sure. And um, back to um, writing songs now, creative. Uh, well, when you're writing songs, does it come at unusual moments, like say in the middle of the night or in a coffee shop? Yeah, usually. Mm. Yeah, 3am seems to be the peak mm. time. <laughs> You've got to get out of bed and uh, record something. <laughs> get it out. Yeah. Do you always have to make sure you have like a, a drop pad or your phone nearby? Yeah, usually phone. Yeah, just press the uh, record on your notes and... Uh, yeah, both of our phones are just filled with voice notes of random, it's usually ramblings that don't really uh, sound like words to begin with. So start with a kind of uh, da, 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 kind of thing that will eventually turn into <laughs> there'll be, there'll be something. Words at the end. Yeah. <laughs> and on this album as well, are some of the songs written from personal experiences? Yeah, the, all of them pretty much. Mm -hmm. Apart from uh, Devil's Calling because uh, we haven't actually murdered anyone. So. <laughs> 
And um, as a duo, who are your in musical influences? I mean, I think the biggest one for, for us collectively is a Swedish band called First Aid Kit. Uh, they're a huge influence to us because, well, they're, they're quite similar to us, really. They're an Americana duo. One plays the bass, one plays the guitar, and they're very um, strong on the vocal harmonies, which, uh, which is pretty much where we picked up. Yeah our style from and um, uh, yeah secret sisters as well yeah. um they're they're much more i would say much more americana vibe than uh first date well yeah. no more bluesy i would say mm. i don't, don't know lark and poe yeah Lark well. and poe. um Ward Thomas, Ward Thomas on the country yeah. side of things, yeah. yeah. Yeah, heard of Ward Thomas before, yep. <laughs> They're popular, aren't they? And um, you just told me about your musical influences there um, and your website as well. Um, you've got a lot of things going on your website as well. You've got merchandise. And, and um, for my listeners, they might not know that you are available for private functions and special occasions as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, we do anything. Yeah, we do, we do lots of weddings and birthday parties and things like that. And it's always a really nice... Um, thing to do as well because you're kind of you're slotting into someone's family almost like you become this this group of friends it's really nice yeah. we've had a couple of private events now where we've got another booking from another family member and you just end up kind of getting all these bookings from different families yeah and you, you get, get to, to know, know everyone yeah. yeah it's like a whole new community every time so, yeah. that's sweet that's sweet uh, yeah i was about to just add like because uh, um i'm a dj um yeah. on my main job uh, doing like the clubs and when you got private parties it's a bit more kind of uh, personal and uh, as, yeah, get, yeah, as, as I'm, I'm getting older I seem to like the local private parties you know <laughs> they're not bad at all are they yeah no they're great I'm great fun I really enjoy them yeah, me too. so you mentioned gigging as well 2024 shaping up for a good year for you girls yeah absolutely yeah it's, it's looking really good we've got some some uh, nice festivals booked in a couple out of county as well um that we'll be announcing soon and yeah we've we've got this tour which is which is going incredibly well we are pleased to announce that tonight's tonight's performance at the temperance cafe in leamington spa is now sold out so we've um we've completely sold it out which is which is really exciting it's our third time playing there and each time it's we've got bigger and bigger got yeah. more people in so um yeah really looking forward to that that's amazing and on easter weekend you are in your home turf or, or your your home county of cornwall in st ives is that the 30th yes yes get the calendar out <laughs> the calendar. uh the 30th of march did you say yeah 30th no, of march April. yeah march <laughs> Uh, yeah, so at the end of March, we've got some nice some nice local gigs. So we're playing in Mausel on the Friday, uh, St Ives on the Saturday and Truro on the Sunday. So really nice and local for us. And um, and then April hits and it's not we're, we're everywhere. Yeah. And <laughs> are, are you looking forward to this weather changing? It, which it seems like it's been going on forever now, isn't it? You know, uh, we just need Absolutely. a few yeah, more weeks and then... It's not raining since September. Yeah, we need a bit of the weather, then you're out in the festivals as well. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. We're, um, we're, we're going up to York and Glasgow on the weekend for the last for a couple more gigs. And uh, it's, apparently there's supposed to be a snowstorm somewhere. Oh. So that should be an interesting drive. But <laughs> bring on the summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and how's the touring in your uh, your van going? Is it going smoothly so far? Yes, it is. Yeah, if our turbo worked, we'd go a bit faster. We'd go a bit faster. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's fine. We're, we're getting there. Very slowly getting to each venue. But, um, <laughs> We've arrived just in time for sound check so far. So. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure it work out for you, you girls, in the end. Um, and I just want to say thank you for coming back on, just for a little catch up interview. And um, I'm going to play one of your songs higher now. I've got that ready to uh, queue up on on the radio show. Yeah, well done. Uh, thanks thank for you. coming back to me on my show, Chloe and Amy from the True Foxes. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you.